Well, welcome to the Church Office Podcast. My name's Gavin Smith, and if you're joining us on video, then here's a little wave. I'm excited to have Nigel Ring join us. I've never actually heard the word wicked and accountant <laughs> put in the same sentence. <laughs> I think you can never, if you like, thank too much, mm -hmm. honour people. Yeah. Um, I love it when there's a certain honouring that takes place publicly. Yeah. You know, even if it's thank you to the worship band you led us beautifully this morning. Yeah. Or can we just pray for the children's workers? Thank you, Sue, Charlie, that you're prepared yeah. to miss the sermon to go out and yeah, yeah. work with the children. Yeah. You know, so that you're constantly honouring people in front of others. Yeah. And actually, people thrive on remarkably little mm -hmm. in the way of thanks. Mm -hmm. I think there can be then some very good tangible things to do. Mm -hmm. I think just to drop people a card or a note yeah, yeah. or an email or a text message. Yeah. Thanks for the way you did that on Sunday. Yeah. Thanks for the way you're leading the work, whatever it is. Yeah. I think build deliberately maybe once a year, twice a year, maybe to an event of some sort where you can just gather the volunteers yeah. and it's there to say thank you. Yeah. I, I, in a ministry that I'm involved with in Bristol, we have a what we call a thanquet okay. <laughs> once <laughs> nice. a year for the volunteers. Yeah. And we yeah. give them a really nice meal yeah. and we just say thank you yeah. and update them and what's happening yes. with the ministry and so on. Maybe an outing in the summer or something mm -hmm. with their families. Mm -hmm. There are lots of creative ways you can do it. Yeah. Even perhaps just a, a gift token at Christmas. Yeah. But don't just assume, oh, we've got, we've got that team sorted, right, we'll go on and think of other things. No, yeah, yeah, they're people, yeah, yeah. and we all just yeah. like that honouring. Yeah. Um, and it's very simple. It doesn't yeah. cost a lot. No, it's true. Um, but you may well be holding on to people as well because they're feeling fulfilled and valued. Mm. And I think it goes back to, just to add to what you're saying, you know, if you've got a team leader um, who's leading a team, say the, the, the car park team or something, and you know, how do you how do you think we could bless this car park team? You know, what are your thoughts? So this isn't just me thinking, right? This is how we should thank you, but actually, what would make a difference? And you know, for mm -hmm. some, it might just be you know buying a round at a pub, you know, and having a drink together and yeah. just thanking one another. Yeah. And um, and for others, it's yeah, a meal is great, or yeah, like you say, a card is good. I, I know I've been blessed by receiving a card saying. Yes. Thank you so much for you doing yeah. the difference it makes. And it's a little thing, but it yeah. Oh, that's nice. They yeah. thought of it. Yeah. And I think it. We, I want to see it in a way that kind of recognizes grace in other people. Mm -hmm. So that's an evidence of God's work in you. Um, and I want to point that and celebrate that because they may not even see it themselves. You know, someone's faithfully served, and, and sometimes you can just get on and do what we do and not realize actually the difference mm -hmm. that we are making until somebody stops in a role mm. and then you mm. go oh wow that we really mm. lost somebody here mm. so yeah how do we celebrate grace and how do, how do we you know find ways to encourage mm. them yeah I, I mean just you know you said that they may not see it in themselves and i think this is often so true mm. so just going back to the illustration i brought about creating a stewardship team and looking for people yeah. with the gift of hospitality mm. now i went to one or two people and i said you know you are such an encourager yeah. well, what do you mean well, I see how you quickly go to someone who's bought a prophetic word on a Sunday and just say thank you, or you go to someone after yeah. the sermon and say yeah. thank you, or to a worship, you know, yeah. you, you're an encourager. Yeah. Am I, doesn't everyone do that? <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. It's no. you. That's yeah. something peculiar with you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, right. thank you. Yeah. You know, so to recognize that, yeah. help people to see you there, yeah. what their gifting is and so on, is itself honoring, bringing dignity. Yeah. yeah. It's all about relationship, yeah. and loving people and wanting yes. the best. And, I totally yeah. agree. Yeah. And I think it's, you know, I've always tried to, you know, one of the things that people have heard on the podcast before is my passion about connecting the practical ministry to, to the vision. And so people don't always make that connection. So, you know, I particularly you know, think about our media team and our PA team. You know, these guys mm. make it possible for people to hear the gospel preached from the stage mm. because they're doing what they're doing and and they don't yeah they don't realize so sometimes just pointing out saying do you know what if, if you didn't serve that people wouldn't hear the good news of jesus they wouldn't be discipled they wouldn't hear the ministry of the word and um, all those things make a difference to this Very family and, 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 and yeah and people don't always connect it to the gospel but if we can do that work for people um 
I, I think that will encourage their faith and yes. encourage them yes. to do more and yes. serve more and just yes. enjoy, find a real enjoyment yes. in what they're doing, yes. um, which is important yes. as well. And typically the less conspicuous ministries, if you like, the less platform ministries, the behind the scenes ministries of administration and so on, very few people in the church are actually going to come and say thank you. Yeah. Because it just happens. It's yeah. just part of yeah. the way this church yeah. runs. They don't yeah. stop and think, I wonder how that happened. Yeah. And I used to say to my teams who ran conferences, for instance, I said, don't expect anyone to come and thank you. I will do that. Yeah. But the only reason people will come to you is when it's not working. Mm. We don't want any <laughs> yeah. of that. So don't expect yeah. people necessarily to come yeah. to you. Yeah. Our role, as you rightly say, is to create an atmosphere where people can meet with God. Yeah. That's actually that's why it. we're here. Yeah, absolutely right. That's and and so we're just looking for the ways of helping yeah, that to Yeah, to usher that along. Mm. That's good. So, so thank you, yeah, Rachel. And you know, my own question for that, volunteering. And I think I just need to be more intentional. I think that's my conviction. I think I need to do more. Mm. Say, right, a weekly activity that I do on a Monday or something right at the start of the week that, you know, before it gets busy, where can I thank and encourage someone? Very what does that good. look like? I yeah. think that discipline yeah. needs to be in there. So, yeah. so that's 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 my takeaway for today on those yeah. questions. Yeah. Little diary note. <laughs> little note. Little yeah. thing. Yeah. These are great little uh, conversations and snippets. Um,